Today, we're just going to see if we can notice some patterns in the work we've been doing in adding and subtracting negative numbers that'll help us do them a little more quickly and easily. Let's start off by using some of our knowledge about adding positive numbers to help us with the negatives. So, let's think about what 2 plus 5 looks like on the number line. Well, this is something we know very well. Start at 2 and we head up by 5 steps to get to 7. So that's what it looks like. Now, how can that help us? Well, let's have a look at what happens when we do negative 2 subtract 5. That is going to look as follows. We know we start at negative 2 and because we're subtracting, we go down 5 steps and we end up at negative 7. Now let's have a look at both of them together. So we're going to look and see 2 plus 5 and negative 2 minus 5. Can you see what happened on the positive side and the negative side were basically mirror images of each other? When we say 2 plus 5, we start at 2 and we go up 5 and we end up at 7. When we say negative 2 minus 5, we start at negative 2 and we go 5 steps more negative, so we end up at negative 7. So, we can use the idea of how adding works on the positive side to do anything where we're starting negative and we get more negative. So now if I'm faced with something like this, negative 2,347 minus 1,502, I can use my knowledge of um, positive numbers to help me get this quickly. So I know that if I take 2,347 and I add on 1,502, I'm going to end up with 3,849. How does that help me get the negatives? Well, let's just remind ourselves of what we've just looked at. With the positives, I started at 2, 3, 4, 7, and I took a jump upwards. I added on 1,502, and so I ended at 3, 8, 4, 9. Now, like we've just seen, if I started at negative 2,347, and I subtracted, so I took a jump to the left of 1,502. I've got the same pattern on the negative side as I had on the positive side, so I'm simply going to end up at negative 3,849. So, I can use my knowledge of addition to get to my answer when I subtract 1502 from negative 2347. All right, we're going to look at another idea that will help us. With addition, it doesn't matter the order in which you do things. You, you know this, right? If you've got three sweets and you've also got two sweets, it's exactly the same saying you've got two sweets and then you also put together another three sweets with them. Or if you've got 50 sweets and you put 73 sweets with them, it doesn't matter if you first get the 73 and then you put the 50 with them. Okay, so to put that all down, what we're saying there it doesn't matter if you say 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3, you get the same answer. It's just as similarly, you don't, if you say 50 plus 73, it's the same as 73 plus 50. No matter what we add together, it doesn't matter the order in which we do it. And we give this a very special name. We talk about it as saying addition is commutative. Commutative is just a very fancy way of saying it doesn't matter the order in which you do it, right? Now, that's going to help us when we come to negative numbers. Because something like this, where we say negative 3 plus 7, well, we've got two things that are added together. This plus this. So, our commutativity law, in other words, the order doesn't matter, says we can just swap the order around. And we can say 7 first plus minus 3. Now, we know that if we add... A negative number. So if we add something negative, that is exactly the same as taking away. And so we again get a very simple, simple um, 
calculation to do, which is 7 minus 3, and we've known since we were in grade 2, or 1 even, that that is just equal to 4. All right, you try one now. If I ask you to do negative 12 plus 43, you can kind of see this like you've got negative 12 and you're adding on 43. Order doesn't matter, so you can use that commutivity to make it easier. Pause the video, try it now, and we'll go over it together after that. Okay, so the first step would be to say, right, 43 plus minus 12. And you know that if I add on a negative, it is the same as subtracting. 43 minus 12 is very easy to do. That answer is 31. OK, we're going to notice one last pattern to help us. Um, OK, so if we look at these first two, Let's look at 5 minus 8. That tells us we start at 5, and we must take 8 steps down. Well, take 8 steps down. We're going to first do a jump to 0. That's 5 steps down. We still need to do 3 more, so take 3 more down, and that is minus 3, as our, negative 3 as our answer. In the next case, if we're doing 2 minus 6, we start at 2. We must take 6 steps downwards. So we're going to do it in jumps again. We first jump to 0. That's 2 steps we've done. We needed to do 6, so we still must do 4 more. We jump more, and we end up at negative 4. Now, you've done a whole lot of these, and hopefully, if your brain was switched on while you were doing them, you noticed that actually, when you say... 5 minus 8, you get exactly the same answer as when you say 8 minus 5, except that it is negative. And when you do 2 minus 6, you get exactly the same answer as when you say 6 minus 2, except that it is negative. And that will help us to easily get answers to something like this, 23 minus 45. We can then say, look, I know 23 minus 45 is going to be exactly the same answer as 45 minus 23, except it will be negative. 45 minus 23 is something that I can do very easy. And so I get my answer here very, very easily. The answer is negative 22. And I can check, kind of give myself a little bit of a check whether things look right, by just thinking the number line, right? If I was at 23 and I went 45 steps downwards, yes, I'm definitely going to be heading into the negatives. Okay, you use that little idea to calculate 32 minus 57. Pause the video now, do it, and then we'll go over it together. Okay, so thinking logically, you know if you started up at 32 and you took 57 steps down, well from 32 taking 57 steps down, you're definitely going to go past zero into the negatives, right? So our little information tells us 32 minus 57 is going to be the same as the negative of 57. 57 minus 32. 57 minus 32, if we need to, we can do the calculation on the side quickly, and we get our answer as 25, negative 25.